Hello YouTube. Hope everyone is well. Hope everyone's having a good day. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a, a boot review. A couple weeks ago I was asked, uh, asked, axed. Living in the south is a, it's hard when it comes to certain say, things to say. Even though that technically um, when it comes to saying things closest to what our English ancestors sa said, how they said it. People in the South actually say it closer to the way that they said it, but oh well. Uh, a disclaimer, I'm not supported by any boot brand. I'm not paid for reviews. Uh, I'm not paid for positive views, videos, anything like that, etc. So whatever I say will be completely honest. You don't have to question what I'm going to say. Uh, you can take it as my word. You can take it as gospel. And that's my honest opinion that I'm going to give in this review. Uh, there's a lot of people out there that do boot reviews that are not honest. Um, they're paid by brands to give positive re reviews to boots, which is kind of weird because people are going to be out every single day wearing these things. A lot of these have safety toes that, you know, could, could save your toe or save your foot. And a lot of people... I guess they'd just rather have the money and give a fake review, which I guess, you know, probably wouldn't be so serious as to losing your foot, but it definitely would be as serious as spending every day miserable on your feet till you decide to buy something else. And to be honest, that has not been my experience with these boots. Uh, these are the Red Wing Dynaforce. Uh, the model is the 2203. These are a 10.5 double E. These are not insulated and these are not waterproof. Um, they're just steel toe. I'm not sure if it's a steel toe or alloy toe. Aluminum. It's not composite. It's actual uh, metal-based, steel-based um, toe. You know, a lot of people say that, you know, the, the, the soles are oil-resistant. I don't really know if that actually matters or not because... I'm not sure if they mean oil resistant as in the oils are not going to affect the sole of the boot um, or what they actually mean by that. But if you're all stepping on, you know, oil anyway on a relatively slick, it's going to make the surface slick and you're going to slip and slide anyway. So I have both of these here, you know, a good looking boot, just a good looking work boot, you know, a cl classic look, a classic design. You know, the, this boot, the, I've, I've conditioned it well. There's really no, there's no cracks in the leathers. They're just creases from, you know, where your boot, where you walk. You know, it's, it's a pretty, over time, it's become a pretty flexible boot. Um, as you can see, you know, some scuffs from where I climb up and down on uh, cars. I work for the railroad. Um, I'm, a, I'm a conductor, so I'm a freight conductor. And I also do, you know, different things on the side. I used to do uh, construction on the side. Uh, now I really just, you know, help out my grandfather whenever I can, uh, work on vehicles, etc., etc. Now I've, I've mostly just been so busy I haven't had time to, to do any of that or to have any sort of side jobs really. But overall, these have been a pretty good boot. Uh, they, they're, they're not waterproof, but. Uh, unless you're standing in the rain for long periods of time or standing in puddles of water for long periods of time, they really don't get wet on the inside. Um, now, if it, you know, if you're just constantly walking through water, um, it's, it's going to start to seep. Uh, it starts, it's going to start to get into the leather. It's going to start getting into, you know, the inside of the boot and around your foot. Uh, they're not insulated, but in the wintertime, you know, I live in uh, Tennessee. So, you know, the winter can be very mild here. It can actually get kind of, you know, really cold. Um, but, you know, usually in the winter time, just a thicker sock, a wool sock, sock and, you, and you're pretty good. Um, the boots haven't fallen apart on me. The boots have been pretty strong. I bought these in August, on August 6th, um, and it is now June 26th. So I've had these for 10 months. Um, and they've held up relatively well. Uh, now, now, here is the biggest issue I have with these boots. And it is something completely specific to me. 
a lot of other people might not, you know, have this issue. I have a high arch in my foot. I have a very high arch in my foot. When I walk through the house, you can't even hear me. I'm not flat footed at all. Uh, so the original insoles that come with this, um, as you can see, are not made for someone who has a high arch at all. Um, the cushion on them are, is actually all right on the heel part of it, but when it gets to the ball of your foot, it, it absolutely sucks. Uh, and, and supporting the arch in your heel, the, the original soles absolutely suck. Um, and with these, what I actually done was for the first week that I wore these, I actually took these out hoping that maybe I could uh, help mold some of the rubber um, inside the boot to my foot. That way that uh, this would just concave and convex to the way my foot is shaped. And it didn't really work because it's rubber, it's not leather on the inside. So I got new soles um, uh, on the on in Octo October 13th, I believe it was. And you know these the, these are these are these were a lifesaver, honestly. These were a lifesaver for my foot uh, after walking, you know, for 12 hours around on ballast all day, which is what the rocks are on the railroad, or this is what they're called. You know, climbing up on cars, and I'll get to that here in a second. But walking on concrete, blacktop, asphalt, as some people call it, I call it blacktop. Uh, you know, walking in the dirt and mud, you know, wherever. Uh, these, it's really been a lifesaver for me. However, these are not holding up very well. Uh, let's see, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. So, you know, about eight months ago, I've got these and, you know, they're, they're really falling apart. The sides are already starting to come up. It's, uh, if it wasn't for the weight of myself, uh, real, well, I can't I guess it's starting to come up on one side and I'm not tearing it. I'm just showing you all, uh the back here, the actual heel part, as you can see, it's actually not, there's not only the little uh, felt, I guess this is felt, uh, it's coming up with actual on the inside, the cushioning is coming up, it's coming apart on this side. Uh, the same thing here, you can see where the balls of my feet hit into it. Uh, and that's the, starting to come apart on this side pretty, pretty good too, especially around the heel area, uh, on both sides actually on the same spot, so. Not sure if that's a from for here or whatever, but you know I haven't contacted Red Wing. I haven't gone to the local Red Wing store about it yet. Uh, when I could have went today, but I'll probably go tomorrow and ask them about that. It's just it's just been kind of a an aggravating an aggravating thing uh, to deal with. Really, you know, you, you get a you buy basically a three hundred dollar pair of boots, and then you have to spend. Uh, six, I think it's like $65 for these. And, you know, they don't last a year, which is, it's aggravating because, you know, you just want to, you, you want a pair of boots that you can just throw on and they'll fit like a glove. Uh, this wasn't the case. And the way, and speaking of fitting like a glove, I'll go ahead and get to uh, how these fit. These are a 10 and a half double E. Now my foot really isn't that wide, but the regular 10 and a halfs were just, they, they just, they, 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 I could tell just by walking around the store, it's gonna be really uncomfortable for my pinky, my pinky toe. And I didn't wanna have to uh, go through the process of trying to actually break the boot in to fit to my pinky toe. I'd rather just be a little bit wider, uh, not even have to worry about that. Now coming to the break-in of these boots, there's literally no break-in. Uh, if you have, if you're flat-footed, you know these boots are going to be just fine for you. Uh, you don't have to, you shouldn't have to worry about any break-in. A lot of people go on and on and on about a dang break-in of the boot. Like you know, quit quit being a quit being a pussy. You know, like if your foot is, if you're honestly that pussy-footed to where you're going to sit here and complain every single time you buy a new pair of boots, you just need to change jobs. Get on well, not no, don't get on welfare, but you just need to change. Just quit complaining. This wear tennis shoes all day, but 
yeah, it just aggravating. But and, and another another setback, but it's kind of my fault with these boots is these do not come with any sort of shank. Uh, they do not come with a, a fiberglass shank, a steel shank, an alloy shank. Uh, now they're using leather shanks and shoes, which I guess any little bit helps. Uh, but there is none, no shank right here. I can take and push in on it, actually. Uh, the soles of the boots, uh, for really, for the my, for the amount of miles I've walked, they've held up pretty good. You know, they're, they're a little bit wore, but they're nothing, nothing really crazy, I don't think. You know, not not as crazy as some of these other whore, these other stories that people are posting online and i swear i think they actually take the boot to a dang grinder to try to get as much off just so they can complain about them but these boots they really aren't bad you know just a couple of things i wish would have been different but i've, I've worn these daily for uh, well, for what i say 10 months i've worn these daily for 10 months and um Little to no issue, honestly. Little to no issue. Just the soles, sizing, uh, and just little complaints here and there. But overall, they've been good. I think anyone that uh, that works for the railroad, anyone that works in any sort of construction, uh, would be pleased with these boots. Now, not everyone's going to have the same experience, but that's what I thought. Uh, I actually recently bought a pair of Danners, uh, Danner Queries. And uh, I'm going to be trying those, and I'm going to be doing a, a little mini review, and then uh, probably build, probably a long-term review here in about uh, 10 months to a year. So hope everyone enjoyed that, and have a great day.